Hey everybody out there, this is Marshall Harrison and uh, I'm going to do another one of these uh, math videos and you see right there is what uh, we're going to derive today. Um, we're going to start with, we're going to use these two ideas here, or a couple of ideas, and derive a pretty impressive integral. Um, and the actual details of convergence are not important here. Uh, this is just a formal derivation. And if it turns out it doesn't converge, uh, oh well, we still, uh, I, I think, made some uh, new, new headway just simply on the grounds of mathematical formalism. Um, so let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, we got Ramanujan's Master Theorem but in a little bit different form than what you might be used to seeing it as. Uh, you see we got all positive signs in the infinite series. I mean, that, the, why this is so powerful and why I refer to it all the time is because you can integrate from zero to infinity. I mean, it's hard to do any integrals, any indefinite integrals that go off to infinity. It's kind of difficult to get a handle on them. And you can this, this tells you how to evaluate them uh, if you know, if you break them down into their constituent infinite series expansions you just take their infinite series and make them negative and bring them over here and divide by the tangent in this case if you have alternating signs it becomes a sign okay but the rest stays the same pi times the phi which is your which is your um, infinite series terms the negative of the general term of the expansion Okay, so uh, so that tells us that all we need is to find any infinite series, and we can write down the integral. So what we have here is this crazy infinite product. Uh, it might look arbitrary, but um, it's one that we actually have a handle on, thanks to the absolute searing, penetrating, trenchant inside of uh, Ramanujan. Uh, and you see we have five times this that goes on infinity, x to the fifth, one minus x to the tenth, so on and so forth forever and ever, 1 minus x to the 15th, uh, you know, I just didn't write all that down. All uh, raised to the 5th power, all that, an infinite product raised to the, a power, divided by another infinite product, but this time with a regular, uh, you know, 1 minus x, x squared, 1 minus x to the 3rd, raised to the 6th power. And using some very clever uh, ideas, uh, Ramanujan, I don't even know if he proved it, but he found that this is equal to an infinite series. The partition function, that's the total number of ways that you can uh, add up to get a certain number. Uh, 5n plus 4, uh, you know, and that's, that's our power series. So, so we use what we started with, Ramanujan's Master Theorem, um, and we use this power series to integrate this infinite quotient of powers of, of, of infinite products. So uh, let's take a look at how we do that. Um, so, I mean, I can show you a derivation of that first um, Ramanujan's Master Theorem with all positive signs. You just take this guy here, this integral is fairly well known. There are some restrictions on m. m can't be larger than 1, I don't think. And um, it's equal to pi over the tangent m. And then we need to switch that. We need to let x equal to au. Um, anyway, so after we do that and do a u sub, regular u substitution, we get 1 minus ax. And that a is important because we're going to be doing stuff with that in a minute here. This pi over tangent m pi a to the negative m. Okay, so let's then we're going to let a equal the finite difference operator e. And all this E does, look, it does this here. It takes, like, whatever index you're at from any sequence, let's A sub naught, and it just moves it forward by 1. That's all it does. And if you have A squared, I mean E squared, it would just move this forward by to A2 if you had E squ squared here. So whatever, this takes a power and moves a sequence forward or backward if it's negative. So um, the regular rules of algebra apply to this finite difference operator, okay? So um, here we're going to use it on our, what we have here, phi, and so it works here, phi, is, phi is of naught, use the find e to the first power, and so it moves it forward by 1. Okay, so let's let a equal e, and, um, and it use our infinite 
series version of uh, 1 minus AX and to, to rewrite this as the integral from 0 to infinity of X to M minus 1 of 1 plus E times X plus E squared times X plus plus E cubed times X cubed or E squared times X squared sorry plus E cubed times X cubed you know forever and ever and um, that's equal to remember and so we had A up here to the minus M so now we have E to the minus M okay now multiply both sides by phi sub naught okay and so the phi sub naughts go into each one of these E's you distribute a phi sub naught and the e, e sub 1 moves our phi sub naught up by 1. E squared moves our phi sub naught to, by 2 to phi of 2, and so on and so forth. So we have an infinite series of all plus signs. And then phi sub naught times e to the minus m, it moves it forward to, or backward in this case, to e to phi sub uh, phi of uh, minus m. So now we use. Uh, Ramanujan's uh, famous. This is one of his most beautiful uh, identities, by the way, of all in his entire uh, oeuvre. This here, right here, uh, Littlewood picked this out, and I think Hardy agreed that this is um, probably the most amazing identity that Ramanujan ever came up with. Uh, if you could just pick one, they all agree. They both agreed on this, and lots of others too. I mean, this is just amazing for. Oh man, it's just incredible to have an infinite series using the par particular values of the partition function, and to, to say that you get an, a huge, amazing quotient of powers of infinite products is just astonishing. Just astonishing mathematically, in any other way you want to look at it. So we're going to use that because, and normally we, we couldn't use Ramanujan's regular one with alternating signs because this is all positive. These are all positive in this uh, infinite. Uh, a series so we had to we had to do something different and derive uh, like an alternate form of Ramanujan's master theorem okay so let's write down what we're what we're going for here we're going to try and evaluate the integral from zero to infinity uh, and remember we have a five out front because um, we're going to put this infinite series right in here into the so um, so that five we'll just let it come out front and we'll put it on the other side in a second here times x to the s minus 1, that's a regular term for the Ramanujan's Master Theorem, um, is equal to pi times phi. Now we're going to substitute minus s into the p, p of, uh, for n we're going to substitute minus s. So what do we get? 4 minus 5s over the tangent of s pi. Okay. And so once we rearrange that, put that, take that 5 on the other side, we get the integral from 0 to infinity of this huge infinite product. And I've, I've put it in a, a nice box here. Is equal to uh, pi over 5 times the partition of 4 minus 5s over tangent of s5. So now we're going to substitute in a clever value of s to uh, get a, a, a nice... Um, to get a nice uh, value for our integral, for our massive uh, series here, quotient. So we're going to take this value of uh, tan of s to get tangent of of uh, pi over five, and which is a nice um, sort of a nested radical here. So we have the square root of five minus two times the square root of five, uh, and it's underneath the radical here. You can see. So we're going to so we're going to let s equal one fifth, and by letting s equal one fifth, uh, see we're going to take this s and let it equal to one fifth, and uh, right here. So s, if s is equal to one fifth, then we get tangent of pi over five, and we can use our identity we have up here. We can use our identity, uh, and so let's do that. Go ahead and do that, and so we got finally the zero, the integral from zero to infinity of our amazing quotient of infinite powers of infinite products and this is the fifth root of x to the fourth in the denominator is equal to now we needed the um, so we needed the value of the partition function um, so we put in s equal to one fifth so five times one fifth is one last time I checked so so the partition of three, the number of ways uh, three you can write three to get to add up to three, uh, a different any which way is uh, three. 
so it's three pi. So uh, so p p of three is is three, and so we got three right here. So three pi, and then we'll just use that five that came with you know over here. It just comes out front, and we'll use tangent of pi over five to get square root of five minus two. I mean, there's lots of fives. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with it, but uh, I know five plays a crazy role in um, in the, some theorems of uh, Rogers in the Rogers Ramanujan uh, identities. So um, uh, that probably has nothing to do with it. But uh, there you have it. This um, incredible infinite product is at least formally appears to be equal to the partition function at a certain value. Um, uh, put times uh, times pi, a constant of pi. So um, that's it for now. Um, and, and, I, and once again, I stress ideas. This is just strictly a formal. I mean, we're not taking doing you know, an epsilon delta proof to see if this actually converges, or the ratio test, or the Cauchy limits, or anything like that to see if this actually converges. We're just kind of just manipulating um, manipulating. In a, in a formal sense, um, and it might turn act, out to actually be true because uh, Ramanujan's master theorem, more often than not, does give you uh, the correct answer. So, and I think we same thing. I just rewrote it. Okay, I just rewrote that two a little bit more clearly over here. Okay, we'll uh, do a guitar video next, but I just thought that was uh, really clever. Uh, this idea here. Okay, take it easy.